The pick is in. And the Columbus Blue Jackets have made a selection in the 2024 NHL Draft. I'm Gil Martin, and we are joined by Jay Foster from Locked On Blue Jackets to break down the Columbus Blue Jackets selection of Caden Lidstrom with the number four pick in the NHL draft presented by Indeed. There is no I in team, but there is one in Indeed, and that's the hiring platform you need to build yours. To upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash locked on. So, Jay, what was it did you think attracted the Blue Jackets to Caden Lindstrom? Oh, man, there's a, there's a bunch of different things. I think the main one is they wanted a center that they could use to grow with Adam Fantilli, having that one-two punch down the middle of Fantilli and Lindstrom. Like, we've seen teams have this kind of success before. You know, you look at the Penguins of the early 2000s. They had Crosby and Malkin down the middle. You look at the Oilers, they've got McDavid and Dreisaitl down the middle. And I'm not suggesting that Fantilli and Lindstrom are going to be as good as those duos, but... The potential is definitely there and, and passing on a guy like Lindstrom, I think, is uh, it, 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 he was the best player available for the team right now for, for my money. Um, there was a bunch of different options they could have gone with. I'm thrilled that they went with Lindstrom. He brings some size to the team. That's always the, the, the criticism of the Blue Jackets is that they always love to draft small, fast forwards. Um, but Lindstrom, six foot three, uh, has a little bit of a temper with it, um, but also just has phenomenal offensive upside and uh yeah i'm really excited to watch this kid play for the next 15 years what does this say about the new direction that the the blue jackets are going to right now i think it says that they are taking that step forward you know i think there's been a lot of criticism aimed at yamaka kalainen for the way he ran the team for the last couple of years but he was always a solid drafter the blue jackets have built up a really solid prospect pool and they're just adding to it with a guy like Lindstrom. You know, it's they're taking that next step forward. They're, they're saying, OK, we're going to add to this young core that we're growing right now. And we're going to keep on growing. I know there was a lot of conversation about should they trade that fourth overall pick, um, trade down in the draft maybe, or trade for, you know, help right now. Um, but I think it's Don Waddell is he's going to stay the course. He's not going to be impatient. Um, he's going to keep keep going at the kind of the pace that the Blue Jackets are going right now. I don't expect Caden Lindstrom to be in the, the NHL come uh, come October. I think he's probably a year, maybe two years away from being an impact forward in the NHL. But there's a lot to be really, really excited about by Waddell making this pick over some of the other guys that were kind of rumored to go to the Blue Jackets at fourth. And what would you say the team will look for next? What's the biggest need that hasn't been crossed off the board yet? Um, I would love to see them pick up uh, a a goal scoring winger. Um, you know they have a handful of them, but it's going to be really interesting to see. The Blue Jackets don't currently have a second a second round pick. Uh, it belongs to Philadelphia right now. They can decide whether they want to take it back or just or Philadelphia could keep it. So their next pick might be um, I believe 69th is currently their next pick. So a little ways away. Um, I don't know that you're going to get the impact player that that. You, you want at kind of the, the late 60s, but the Blue Jackets have always been able to find gems in the later rounds. Um, I would I would guess uh, winger, is uh, left wing preferably, um, potentially um, a right defenseman. Um, and I also wouldn't be surprised to see them draft a goalie with that, uh, with that third round pick. Um, there's a lot of promising goalie prospects in this draft. And I think the Blue Jackets acknowledge, have acknowledged that they are kind of thin at goaltending. All right. Well, Jay, thank you very much. For more on the Blue Jackets, subscribe to Locked On Blue Jackets on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And for more on Caden Lindstrom, let's get an inside look on his path to the NHL. Caden Lindstrom rocketed up practically every board for the 2024 NHL draft, but how high is his upside? I'm Hattie Kalakesh from Locked On NHL Prospects, ready to give you the breakdown. Lindstrom's a six foot four, 215 pound center who plays for the Medicine Hat Tigers in the WHL. He's a pleasant and cheerful small town kid off the ice, but on the ice, he is a menace. A couple of injuries kept him out of action near the final stretch of the season, but he still ended it with 27 goals and 46 points in 32 games. What makes Lindstrom so special is his tenacity. He fights hard, he barrels through defenders off the rush, and he applies that work rate on and off the puck. He's also quick, he's skilled, he's one of the best pure shooters in the draft, and he's a really good playmaker. So he's a complete package offensively wrapped in a frame that NHL scouts will love. 
Look at what Quentin Byfield's slowly becoming in LA. I see a similar longer path to NHL stardom for Caden Lindstrom, but his ceiling is sky high. For more on Lindstrom and all things NHL draft, follow and subscribe to, to Locked On NHL Prospects on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And for continuing coverage of the 2024 NHL draft, subscribe to Locked On NHL on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.